What is going on everybody? My name is Daniel 47 for all of you that don't know and for those of you that do Welcome back to the channel for more quality Halo content today guys. We're back to talking about some more Halo Infinite uh, Not exactly great news, but news nonetheless the game's not delayed so that in my book is a win But at the same time, it's still this is still a pretty important conversation. I'm about to be having here so Day, if you aren't already aware, as of me recording this, it is Friday. Um, we got about a 30 minute long video of 343 talking about bugs and stuff that they were fixing due to our uh, input on the flight and stuff like that. And then at the very end, um, Joseph Staten and Sketch came out and told us that the um, Forge and co op campaign, and by extension, I'm assuming split screen campaign will be coming after launch and not at launch so that is what we're going to be talking about today and i thought i should give my like raw opinions on this this video isn't scripted or anything i've tried to record it a few different times now just so i can get my point across better without having to cut it and make it seem weird but um yep so I just want to preface this by saying that I genuinely think that Halo Infinite will be good, right? I actually, from everything that we've seen gameplay-wise, everything we've heard music-wise and sound effect-wise, sounds, looks, plays fantastic, right? Like, I, I think this game will be amazing, but not having co-op campaign at launch, I feel like is a giant missed opportunity now hear me out here okay i personally was not even necessarily going to play co-op campaign i was not planning day one to play co-op campaign i know a lot of people that were but i feel like a lot of people don't understand how many people enjoy like halo campaign specifically with friends right with it being a sandbox game playing with friends is legitimately more fun in a different way than playing through a campaign for the first time like by yourself for the lore right so if people want to play with their buddies just to have fun instead of actually care about the campaign they would play it with their buddies right if they want to play it for fun and just like be in it for the store then they would play it by themselves my thing is i don't understand why they came out and said that they only wanted to release games that were polished and ready to make sure everyone has a great halo infinite experience on all platforms this holiday right that's what they said my my issue with this statement is that removing forge to one degree but more so co-op campaign is ruining the experience for a lot of people because there are a lot of people that play through the first time of a Halo campaign with their family or their friends. Halo 5 removed a lot of features at launch, but one thing it did have was co-op. So people could still play it. Granted, they would have to have bought another Xbox and things like that that people were upset about, but they could still technically do it. So there have there are people that have played every Halo with their friends or family at launch. That was their first experience and that's how they enjoy the game. But removing that core feature I feel like is a very bad thing. Should this game be delayed over it? Personally, I do not think so. And that's going to sound really weird, right? Why is he sitting here complaining about co-op campaign not being in the game and then say that the game shouldn't be delayed personally i would like to play the game right all right i feel like playing the game during the time while we're waiting for this would be a better way to wait for it that being said all these people that cannot play it, like that genuinely do not want to experience it without say their dad or their um their partner or their friends at launch or anything like that cannot just wait and i've seen people say like on twitter oh well they've given you your options you you just have to wait if you want to experience it co-op you're gonna have to wait two to three months that's like 
I feel like that's just wrong to tell them that they should have to wait, right? Because there was one flight. At this point, there has been a single flight and aspects of the campaign, very major aspects of the campaign, if you're not already aware, have been spoiled from that. There's another flight, another BTB flight on the way. And if you think that there will not be at least some spoilers in there by itself, I've got a bridge to sell you. That on top of the fact that you just expect those people to not be on the internet or anywhere for two to three months to experience the game like everyone else did, but their way, I feel like is just wrong, right? So I'm not saying that they're in a good position. I'm not saying that they should delay the game. I'm saying that something about this doesn't add up, right? They delayed the game a year at this point. And if they still don't have a core feature like campaign co-op and then forge to add on top of that, what is going on there? Something about that just seems very off. And like I said, I genuinely think this game will be good. I just don't know what is happening right now. Because like I said, if we're missing these two and it was delayed a year, what were they going to release last year? Would would we have gotten a campaign at all? Like we, we had to have, because that's another issue. You're paying $60 specifically for the campaign, maybe for if that's not considered multiplayer, seeing as that's free. And at launch, the only thing that you actually have to pay for doesn't have a key feature. The, like, one of the only things in this game that you actually have to pay for, and they didn't do it. I, I really don't want to be a downer. I, I genuinely think, like, please do not think that I do not like Infinite. I mean, I streamed it and everything, and I don't, I don't know how to continue this here because like like i said i've tried to record this so many different times and i don't know how to how to say this without just coming out and saying it but i'm genuinely disappointed and i'm tired of not being able to say that i i am i hope we can have like a, a normal conversation about this that doesn't just turn into fighting or bickering or anything like that but i feel like we should be able to say we're disappointed without saying a game will fail or without saying that your opinion doesn't matter because single player is the only thing that matters and it's a single player game first and a co-op game second because I feel like all of those things should be equal and it it just apparently isn't to a lot of people in the community and I feel like it should be but. so yeah that's uh, about all I've got uh, sorry like I said if this is more like a rambly type video um, Obviously, in the background here, I've got some gameplay of me and my buddies playing Halo 3 ODST. I thought that was fitting, because one of them... Because uh, this is legendary, I don't remember if he hadn't played it or if he just wanted to play through with four people, but it was pretty fun. But this is the sort of stuff I'm talking about, right? Some people genuinely just want to experience things with their friends, and they won't be able to at launch. And I'm disappointed on their behalf, and for people I legitimately know. But it's okay to be disappointed. It's okay to wish that we had things. It's okay to look at your old tweets and laugh at how you messed up saying that this would be the best, most complete Halo game. And it definitely, I feel like, could still be the best Halo game. It just might not be the most complete Halo game. Does that mean we won't have fun with this Halo? No. I think that this will be the best Halo outside of its launch but it's okay to be disappointed and i know i've said that like four times but i just i don't know <laughs> i want to end this on a better i want to end this better than it started right so halo infinite has the potential to be the best halo game i think it's already shaped up to be the best 343 halo game but i think we should be allowed to give criticism and anyone that tells you that you're in the wrong for having an opinion, especially one that is not super happy, I mean, I just feel like that's kind of messed up of them. And it's okay to have that opinion. But anyways, guys, that is going to be the end of this video. 
So if you all enjoyed, be sure to slap that like button down below. Kiss it, caress it. I don't care what you do with it. Just be sure that you push it for me. Be sure to subscribe. Comment down below if you are upset or if you're fine with it. If you're indifferent, it doesn't matter. But just like I said, try to have civil conversation down there, please. Like, do not just say 343 is garbage. There's, they didn't learn anything from Halo 5. Or people that play co-op campaign should just have to wait or anything like that just have a civil conversation please okay we can we can do that this isn't twitter that's what twitter's for if you want to have that conversation then go over the twitter but anyways like i said that's gonna be it and i hope you all enjoyed i will see you all in the next video guys see you later